I'm Erin Spain and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made this super simple charred wood armrest side table using a shaoshugi ban technique. That is a Japanese wood burning technique. No, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly. I googled it and I still don't know, but it's basically charred wood. And the build portion of this project is so simple it literally took five minutes. But that was intentional because I was trying this new technique and I didn't want the build portion to be really complicated and then ruin it. But I didn't. So I'm going to show you how I did it. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section. I will be sure to link to my written tutorial on my blog as well as everything I used in the description box below. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon so you can be notified of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get started. First, I cut a six foot long one by 12 board down to three pieces, one at 27 inches long and then two pieces at 14 inches long each. The length of your longest board will vary depending upon the height of the arm of your sofa, so measure that first and then add about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch. Now, I always clamp a straight edge down to use as a guide to ensure straight cuts with my circular saw. For this project, I use my DeWalt compact circular saw and you can find out more about this tool on my website. I'll link to everything I used in the description box below. Next I sanded everything smooth with a 120 grit sanding disc on my orbital sander. I drilled pocket holes at each end of my longest board using my pocket hole jig. I adjusted the jig and the collar on the drill bit that came with it based on the thickness of the wood I was working with. I ended up needing more reinforcement later so I would recommend six pocket holes on each end because I did go back and drill more at the end. Next, I swapped out the bit in my drill for the long driver bit that came with my pocket hole jig. This has a square tip and it's especially designed to match the square head on the pocket hole screws that I used. And I used one and a quarter inch long pocket hole screws for this. I would say in general, if you want something a little more substantial and stronger to use two by lumber instead of one by lumber, but I really wanted a thin look for this. So um, I use the one by even though it's just a tiny bit more flimsy than I would like for it to be, but it does the job. I used a speed square to attempt to keep everything as square as possible. For this project, I used my burns matic Max Heat Torch. To use this, you just remove the cap and screw on the nozzle, then you switch the gas knob to the on position and turn the yellow knob to the unlocked position. I held the torch a few inches away from my side table and pressed the yellow button to ignite the flame. Then I made several passes back and forth across the wood to char it and bring out the grain. Right about now, I should add a disclaimer to take on this project at your own risk and be sure to use proper safety precautions. I made sure to have a fire extinguisher handy and eye protection and a mask are definitely necessary. For this project, I wanted to achieve a black ebonized look, but you could certainly just char it lightly instead, depending on what type of look you're going for. But for this table, I really just wanted it to be all black. You can see here how this technique really brings out the grain of the wood and it just creates a really nice effect. I charred the entire surface and then I went in with a stiff bristled brush to brush off the loose pieces of charred wood. After a while, I realized gloves would have been a great idea. After I brushed everything off, I went back in with a wet paper towel and wiped everything down. Then I repeated the entire process about three times in order to get the fully blackened look that I wanted. I charred, I brushed, then I wiped it down each time. I mentioned earlier that I realized I needed more reinforcement later on, so I went back in and removed one side and added more pocket holes. I had already added more on the other side earlier. And then I went back and charred those holes because you could see the raw wood and I didn't want them to stand out. I brushed and cleaned and then reattached everything. And then after my last pass with the torch was complete and I had brushed and wiped it down one last time, I allowed it to dry and then I coated it with polycrylic in a satin finish using a paintbrush. Thank you. 
I added two coats of polycrylic total and then I was finished. And now, enjoy some outtakes. Today, I am gonna show you this. Why does it look like I have a rat tail? What is happening? Okay. the build po portion of the dang it I mean I'd like to finish this today sometime today would be awesome okay oops okay almost broke it don't have any questions feel free to leave those in the description nope nope don't leave those in the description <laughs> oh my god okay <laughs> show you how I made this super simple charred wood uh-huh I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next Thursday with a brand new video. In the meantime, you can find me online at erinspain.com and connect with me on social media at erinspainblog.